I spent 31 years and a half to find the answer. And I just found it. I'm very uh, thankful and grateful to mm -hmm. China mm -hmm. for many, many reasons. They got the feng shui, they got the yin yang uh, wu xing, they got the five elements, they've got the, the 12 animals. Right. And the they would say there is no such thing, Palestinians. What are you talking about? Uh, the, the brainwashing I had was uh, um, the Palestinians were living there in peace for thousands of years. It's like if I put this on YouTube, cutting it, whatever, but I yeah. put this on YouTube, some of the comments going to be like, yeah. this guy is crazy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, to be honest, I feel like the Jewish are a little bit isolated by the world. Uh, we still call ourselves brothers and yeah, cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how many, and how many, how many states? And, and we how kill many, each other. And we kill each other. And the answer. rest of the world is all at peace. I hope that the whole world knows the answer. This is the answer. All right. A few days ago, a friend of a friend contacted me online. He told me he had a Palestinian refugee status from the United Nations. Me, as an Israeli, I was very intrigued. So I went to meet him for a chat at a coffee shop. Here is my conversation with Naz. I'm Israeli. You're saying you're a Palestinian, or I don't know if that's how you say it, or whatever. Uh, I'm, you have uh, a UN I'm, refugee no, uh, status. As a, the, the Palestinian right, thing, right, yeah. Right. And I had this conversation with my family, I mean, calm on the Palestinian thing. So what does it mean? Who was in that land? Like, who lived there? Who was born there? Your grandparents? Uh, my grandparents, yeah. They were, my grandparents are from? Greek, okay, um, uh, British, yeah, and uh, like from the British Isles, um, and uh, Arab, and Egyptian. Okay. And it is like that, like in my in my beard. If when my beard uh, is under the sun, if it grows a little, it's you can see the tough. blonde ones, you can red see hair. the red ones, yeah, 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 you can yeah. see the all the different colors. Yeah, there are Arabs like this. Yes. Yeah. So, but I mean, yeah, anyone from like what's today is Israel, uh, Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Gaza. So, Christian or Muslim or. <laughs> I mean, on not my that you, on my not father's side is Muslim and my mother's side is Christian. Ah, cool. And my mum got a lot of trouble for this one <laughs> yeah, when she was younger. Right. But I'm sure it's for a bigger purpose. Right. Do you speak any Arabic? I speak six languages. Arabic is one. So you speak Arabic. I wasn't born there. I was born in uh, Dubai. Dubai. Mm. So well, my parents met in Dubai. So complicated history of family. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of branches. Yeah. How do you get? What is this UN refugee status? Um, basically, the people who were kicked out of, uh, the, of Palestine at that time, or who were... What, what year we're talking about? 1940 something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So after the Second World War. Yeah. Um, you mean once in there was the Israeli independence says, and uh, the, the independence. The Belfort, Belfort Agreement. What what they call uh, 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 the uh, Nakba, and the Palestinian call it and we yeah. call it independence war to be honest i'm not really too interested in politics although i understand politics very much how old are you 31 and a half 31 and a half mm. and so you smoked for 21 years yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up in dubai or no i went to dubai when i was six okay yeah i've lived in other countries too i've lived in lots of countries uh, five countries been to 26 countries more than 300 cities i've just counted i'm talking about this lifetime not previous lives ah just this lifetime where are your parents now all over the world your my parents. whole family oh, is yeah. all over the world and under different names and they're different uh like they, they married into that family that family christian muslim whatever you want whatever you want um maybe the jewish one to be honest i feel like the jewish are a little bit isolated by the world and have been for some time. The Jews, you mean, in the, general? The Jews, yeah. Are sort of isolated? By the world. Yeah, in some way. The Jewish state. In s ah, the state? Yeah, yeah obviously. Um, I know the, the like, uh, state is a very sensitive word. I mean, like, state is like, a, there's, for everything, there's a physical state and um, a, 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 a spiritual state or, or an emotional state, if we say emotional state. Yeah, everybody is used to that. So I was looking, I think, I think, it's, there's a there's a there's a battle of the states you yeah, know it's like we eat something and, and we need the the, the 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 army we need a military here and there to, to be the white blood cells to save us jews have a complex mm. our complex is the holocaust not just the holocaust before that the too diaspora yes i mean in some way 
you know how it is unfortunately in this world in some way um suffering bring more suffering oh. to forward yeah. paid forward not only a positive thing sometimes it's a negative thing right so we have a complex right our complex is never again so whatever happens never again the fear if someone wakes up to kill us we'll kill them first yeah right the it's a complex yeah. you know it's a, and that's what i've been looking for the answer what is the answer and i came to this world and i had asthma and i was afraid of dying and i i strived to survive again and come back Ooh, when i came back i was so grateful oh, i could breathe and um through my looking through the messages from from the the world because i was looking and i was looking for the right thing so whatever i looked for i found and i was still looking for so many things and in china i looked for all the chinese um the missing links and um i'll just say so that's why you, that's would, why you, you like, would you like would you like would you like the, the answer that i have found that what? i believe is the solution to the whole world and this is the reason why china is the most best developing fastest developing and most successful and happiest and most grateful country in the world at the moment if you're willing to give it i'm listening i looked for a long time and i looked for it for every, for all of us all right and for the animals too not just the humans for the animals too are you ready yeah you trust me i'm ready okay um i do not need you to tell me anything okay do not you no, no need to expose anything just keep it in yourself I'll ask you some questions. You can nod or whatever to confirm. Okay. I hope that the whole world knows the answer. This is the answer. All right. Okay. Now we're going to think of the three people. If you close your eyes, it's, it's uh, sometimes more effective. Some, it depends on the person. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, we're going to think of the three people that you are most grateful for. Okay. One by one. The first person that you are most grateful for. Can you have you, you thought of them? Look into their eyes. Make the eye connection. Can you can you feel the the warmth of their body? If not, then make them come closer or you go closer. Can you smell their breath? Can you feel the temperature of their breath? Yeah. Uh, okay, give them a hug. How much would they be willing to do for you? How much would you be willing to do for them? Okay, the second person. When you think of them, uh, give me a, a nod. Okay. Um, look into this person's eyes. Take real deep eye contact. How much would this person be willing to do for you? And how much would you be willing to do for this person? Can you feel the person's temperature? Their aura? Give them a hug. Okay, now the third person. Look deep into their eyes. Give them a hug. How much would they be willing to do for you? How much would you be willing to do for them? Can you smell them? Okay, now, the secret is, the, gun, the just discovered secret is, keep this feeling in you, 24 hours a day, 360 plus days a year, forever. And it will grow and grow and grow, this power, in everything you see. This is called belief. Even anything that I will see, I will still be grateful for it. And the power of grace is mutual. Next time you eat something, show gratitude. Be really grateful for it. Welcome it to come to your country. Welcome it to come into your state, to come into your body. I found it over these 30 something years mm. through my car crashes, through my, through my pains, through my fighting, through my thinking about the wars, through my dreaming about the, the brainwashing I had about the Israelis and the Muslims and the Jews are so bad and the, 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 the Illuminati and the, the Illuminati are brothers, 
we're all human, we're all parts of the earth. I mean, really, really, if God wanted to do something, you know, you could try and destroy everything you want, but it's all going to come back. Every what, 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 what brainwashing you had? I'm, I'm curious. Um, I can tell you my side of that. Oh. You know, what brainwashing? Uh, the, the brainwashing I had was uh, um, the Palestinians were living there in peace for thousands of years. And then the Zionists, uh, the Zionists who are uh, the, 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 Thank you. The, the, the Queen of England, the Rothschild, and the, yeah, yeah. The, the, the right, yeah, the, the Zionists, they, they want to make a Jewish state physically. They yeah. understand this, they understand this, but they don't understand the gratitude because they go into fear too easily. The same as the Muslims. So anyway, the story I got, uh, there was a Belfort agreement. Some English guy called Balfour, Belfort. Yes. Uh, not only did they separate the whole world into lots of borders on a map, which there were not before. Uh, they made physical borders. And I disagree with this because physical borders uh, cut the animals off from traveling. And this mm. is causing so many animals very much pain. Mm. And uh, I hope that we can make peace with the animals and take down the physical borders. Uh, so, so the Palestinians were told to leave their country uh, for some time, while the, the Israelis, they were uh, inventing this uh, terrorism, bombing uh, and uh, the, they had weapons and tanks coming into the country and the Palestinians were unarmed, basically because they lived in peace with gratitude and no fighting but they were not grateful enough for everything this is, their problem. This is where their weakness so they were easily fooled and they were easily separated and they were easily beaten and look at their pain now, it's because they are not grateful for their own brothers, the sons of Sam, their own brother, what are they called, the brothers? Um, you mean, we are, what we are, we are cousins. There's something called the sons of Sam, Samism, Samism. This is interesting what you're saying, I never heard yeah. that kind of story. Yeah. Um, because the Arabs all know that they are the brothers, the Muslims all know that the Arabs are the brothers of the Jews. Right, the same we, we say cousins, uh, we say cousins. They say brothers, but okay. Yes, but it's interesting, brothers, cousins, uh -huh. we still call ourselves brothers and yeah, cousins. Yeah, 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 and how many, and how many, how many states and, and we how kill many, each other, and we kill each other. And the rest that. of the world is all at peace. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, no, this is interesting. No, the, the, the story we have is, uh, well, there were Arabs in the land, right? Basically, until... Uh, until the end of the 19th century um, for who knows how long I guess and they were basically living as tribes oh. kind of living as tribes not organized yeah. no never formed a state mm -hmm. right they're just living as tribes probably not bothering anyone and you know yeah. and uh, and then Jews from around the world um, mostly Europe and some many actually Muslim countries, Morocco and you know, yeah, Algeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. many, many, Egypt, yeah, Iran, 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 Iraq, yeah, yeah, yeah. many, many Jews, yes. Yeah. And um, there was, they were more and more prosecuted, chased, prosecuted. Then of course with the, you know, um, there was even before the Holocaust, way before the Holocaust. Mm. So the Zionist idea came to be, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. nobody wants us. We have problems. No, thank you. The, the, the sandalwood. It's no, really nice. No, no, Chinese no. invention. No, no, thank you. Okay. Basically, the Zionist idea is nobody wants us. We have problems, more and more and more problems uh, in other countries. We need to go back to our land from the Bible, from where we were. I don't think there is an argument about that with anyone in the world. You know, Jesus was... Uh, Jewish in, he was in Jewish. Those. He was yes. Jewish. So he never that said was, he was not Jewish. That was in that land, yeah. right? So that's the now we can go into promised land, God. I personally don't believe in God. At the same time, I'm not someone that also say there is no God for sure because I cannot prove either way, right? Um, I believe in other energy and other stuff. Uh, I think it's different no. name and different language for the same things. Probably yes. Every state yes. Has and is it a being? Is it a, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, a different yeah. discussion. Yeah. But. Um, um, so what they say I today, like the Chinese one. so the argument of the Zionists today, and again, Zionist is, you know, I can say I'm a Zionist, right? Mm. But um, because, you know, there are, 
there are many truths. Many truths can exist and coexist. Yes, many. That's states. that's where the issue is, you know. And um, they overlap. The states overlap. Yes. So many uh, hardcore, let's say hardcore Zionists, let's call them like that, uh -huh. um, that are very uh, against Palestinians, right? They would say there is no such thing, Palestinians. What are you talking about? That's what they say, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there was never a country called Palestine. It, it doesn't exist, right? Uh, so that's kind of like that hardcore argument from that side, right? So British ruled that land, yeah, right? Yeah. British ruled that land and uh, Jews came from Europe, came from other places, came from wealthy families yeah. came and came to a land that is swamps and, and not, a, not a fertile... Yeah, Jer Jerusalem was quite... Yeah, Jerusalem is old, yeah. right? But a lot of the rest of the country was not occupied almost. There was maybe a tribes uh, uh, Arab tribes here and there but so and they started uh, it was like you know they put their mind and the Rothschilds and everybody gave money to work the land and try to build something right yeah, yeah. and more and more Jews came more and more and more right and uh, of course the Holocaust was a huge thing peak. the peak of we yeah. have to have our own land yeah so um, my grandparents were in the Holocaust, they got the numbers and everything oh. and uh, you know they managed to survive and they came to Israel in 1947, 48 and at that time that was, we also fought the British. Yeah exactly. We also yeah, bombed yeah, yeah. the British exactly. inside, That's why right? I said they, they say we had the underground, terrorism. yes, the terrorism, yeah, yeah there yeah. was the Jewish terrorism, yes, because yeah. they decided different organizations like we have to really bring it up a notch and we have to get this to be our state, right? And then in the end, they convinced the British, right, to make a kind of a border and, and then, and then once the British did it, the war started. So we were kicking out Arabs, Palestinians, you know, from yeah. their homes, right? Yeah, That's yeah, where, yeah. what the Arabs call uh, the Nakbe. The Muslims the and Nakbe. Christian, yeah. The Nakbe, which I think in Arabic, it means uh, like the, the very bad thing, like the, the, the black time, you know? Um, I will ask. I will ask for us uh, yes. what Nakba means. Nakba. Yeah. So because the and we call the it the independence war. Yeah. And my grandfather already fought in the, that war, and then we occupied as much as we could, right? And the war finished. You know, a lot of people died, both sides, and uh, and that's it. And the state of Israel, Israel was formed right 1948. Yeah, which is China was 1949. But but I mean oh. it's kind of funny, right? Because 1949, 1948, China, Israel, but the cultures are thousands of years old, yeah, right? Yeah. Arabs too. Muslim yeah, culture yeah, is yeah. very, very and old, Babylonian right? Culture, Greek yes, culture. but there were no states, right? In the old time, there they was were, not like they were. It more, was imperial. It, it was, was spiritual. It was yeah. more like um, word of mouth. It was not like so, like borders. It was more like uh, my state has its uh, power or its uh, charm and right. it spreads to your state, and we make a new state in the middle. You know, like it's, my family is very liberal. Um, but you know, even liberals in Israel, you know, you have to take sides in a way, right? In the end, it's like you brainwash. All sides are brainwashed, right? In some way. Um, but um, you know, I remember in the 80s, I mean, Palestinians uh, from Gaza, from you know Ramallah, from from many places, used to work inside Israel, work, just work, work together. I worked with someone in a, in a some warehouse, you know, Muhammad. That today, there's no way. Do you know it what gets so you, much worse. Do you know what Muhammad means? Muhammad is uh, um, is the a prophet, meaning. no? Do you, do you know the, the meaning of the, the word? Me the, you mean it's the name of a prophet, right? Yeah, Muhammad, yeah, yeah, yeah. the big that prophet, one, Muhammad. One, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So there is a meaning also. No, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. know. What does it mean? The grateful one. The grateful one. Oh, so that goes back to the what you said in the beginning, yeah, yeah. right? Yes. But he's grateful only spiritually, not physically. There is so many this Muhammads, huh? Like a yeah, lot of Muhammads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a very popular. It's like Michael. It's a state. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Michael. Yeah. My best friend in Dongguan, uh, in the past, he's already not here for 10 years, but oh. you know, was Lebanese. Oh. He is, uh, is Christian Lebanese, his wife yeah. is Muslim. Yeah. He, when he met me that day in the club, he said, oh, you're from Israel, I'm from Lebanon. Oh, you see my wife at the bar. Don't tell her you're Yahudi. Don't tell, don't tell <laughs> yeah. her. He was don't joking with me. Jewish. He yeah. was joking yeah. with me, yeah. he was like kind of scaring me, <laughs> making a Jewish. joke. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. But deep down, there's a, I studied psychology actually and I, I've been a teacher so all of my experiences were preparing me on how to deliver the message so that other people can pass on the message too right uh, the gratitude message uh, the gratitude message there I've missed I've, I've, I've by coming to China I have um, 
I have found the missing link. Why the Jews and the, the uh, Arabs fought for so many years is because the Jews, they really went for the physical. And they really started getting it nicely. They started getting it good. But the, the, the Arabs were taught to be spiritual, to not be greedy for the, for the, for the because they didn't understand the physical uh, way. So when the Chinese now, they, they invented the feng shui in the body, macro feng shui, macrobiotics, microbiotics, you know, they, like, the way that you, you, you make your body, like when I said my, my, my military, my uh, immune system does not fight. Ah, so this is why I can be healthy. There's this, now the, another macro system bigger than myself is my family. We need metal, we need uh, water, we need wood, we need um, plants, sorry. Uh, we need fire and we need uh, uh, the, the, the earth. Uh, the elements, uh, yeah. Ele yeah. Yeah, the yeah. five elements. Yeah. We also need yin and yang to be yeah. good together. Yeah. Um, so they, they did it and they told you which place it should be in to get the feng shui going. So in the city, and you'll find this in the pyramids, you'll find this in Maya. Mm. in the Mayan mm. uh, cities mm. you'll find this in the Babylonian cities mm. in the Jewish uh, the, the, in the ancient all the ancient cities and um, including Damascus including mm. including uh, Egyptian cities including all Chinese cities if you look at any Chinese government buildings they have the same systems of water creating energy so that people don't need to eat anymore mm. if you're really a grateful person then you either you don't eat an animal. You do not kill the state of the animal. You do not uh, zui, the state. How do you say zui? Uh You do not do something to 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 irritate it. To in harm interfere. It. Yeah. You don't interfere because if you physically interfere with the state, maybe I am physically stronger than that state, right? I believe that people should not touch too much unless they are really being grateful for each other. Mm. Mm. So. They, 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 they really need to like the, 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 the physical we need a way in how to do it without harming without imbalancing and the Chinese discovered this this is why we came here we are coming here from past lives you are you are one king of the Jews <laughs> but yeah you are and you are also a king of if you look at your name the meaning of your name if you translate it you will find that you are a king of the Jews come here and I am a king of, of, of Greece and Nazis Nazi's uh, people? Nazi's, uh, I made the name myself, I changed it. Nazi's people, right? No, it's N-A-Z. No? In, in, uh, no, I mean in Arabic, Nas is people. N-A-S is, is uh, people. Yeah, but so N what is N-A-Z? N-A-Z is A to Z and the middle. You start from the middle, it makes a sign, a very nice sign. The completeness, wholeness. I was looking for wholeness because I knew I was missing something. I, know, I found that everybody's missing something. And what we're missing is what China has, the Chinese state has found. The most, the best state for human beings, for animals, for all matter, is to have a gan. An is called the, the gan. An gratitude. When you are grateful for something, you give something back. You know, when you, if, you, if, you make some, if you make 1,000 people grateful, you get 1,000 people's gratitude. The physical, um, thing for gratitude is money or gifts because I am the messenger just the same as you are the messenger you are the king of the Jews I'm a messenger of the Palestinians I'm the king of the Greeks and uh, I'm uh, somebody I'm not sure you, who exactly from you Britain. are aware that many people in this world today oh would think you are crazy i'm very aware You're but very, when they you they are try, aware of this i'm yeah. very aware yes uh, that most people can take this kind of talk. exactly so this is the thing right i found the answer right if you have not found the real answer if you find you are not 100 percent complete you try the system that i have just said and you do it you think of the first person you're most grateful for you think of the second person and you, touch you, them, you understand that like them. if i put this on youtube cutting it whatever but i yeah. put this on youtube some of the comments gonna be like yeah, this guy is crazy yeah you know yeah because they never because tried it they or they couldn't they didn't have the 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 self-discipline or the, the the ability to actually be complete and actually say i will never be fearful because now wh why are we so grateful in china why do we know about gratitude why are we so happy looking to for the answer because we don't have to think about 
trying to get our food. We don't have to think about trying to get our visa. We don't have to think about trying to find a place to live. We have everything set up. We are complete already. We're just looking for the answer. But Chinese people are... Even the Chinese are Chinese looking Chinese people answer. are quite materialistic. Exactly. Right? They're missing this I mean, spiritual. other people too, yeah. not just Chinese people, I know. But the superstitious, the money, the, the you know... Um, Materialist. It's also coming, in my opinion, coming for, totally from a complex. Like every people have a complex. You so know? the Chinese wisdom. They understood the universe, they understood the world, they understood that there's energy, and they understood that they can contain the energy like a battery. And I can kill you and you can kill me and we can have tea after. Mm. Yeah. They're called the, you know, New Year, they pow, 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 get rid of the bad spirits. The bad spirits are not only uh, physical. There are the physical ones, the sulfur in them, they, it gets rid of the bad things. Why would someone take what you say seriously? Because they tried it and it worked and they kept it going for a week or two weeks and they got the power So you preach it to people? I'm not preaching. No, so I'm like just saying you why would yourself. someone watching take you seriously? How would you say? Because they're curious. They, they really have something inside them telling them Oh, there is something missing. You know, I'm not balanced. I'm not 100% balanced So you really and don't when I am really balanced. I don't know how to pass it on to my children. That's the main problem the next generation, we have a very a failure education system.